सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस दिस इज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द टू इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज वन इज चार्ज शेयरिंग मॉडल and another one is yield model okay so in these two models uh, there are some uh, parameters which you need to be knowing okay so the first is charge sharing model so in charge sharing what do you mean by charge sharing is in many digital cmos circuits especially during uh, dynamic logic or bus operations charge sharing is a critical consideration for maintaining the signal integrity okay so the charge sharing means uh, uh, during the passing of any signals if you want, if you consider the and a simple example of an periodic signal so the in periodic signal in one period whatever this uh, waveform is passed that would be repeated in in the upcoming periods right so here this charge sharing would play a vital role in those periodic signal uh, because du uh, during the signal flow we could be seeing that some signals have high and low charges so that the amplitude would be getting varied okay so this what does what does this charge sharing does is so in which the amplitude would be high right and that charge would be getting shared with the low amplitude so that the uh, amplitude to amplitudes would be getting balanced okay so that's why this charge sharing would be playing a vital role okay during any digital cmos logic circuit part so that charge sharing model one they have given it here let us see that a bus can be modeled as a capacitor cb as shown in the figure often a signal from this bus is sampled via a switching element connected to another capacitor cs this configuration can be analyzed by modeling the pre and post switching charge conditions okay so you see here we have one common bus here in that we are having one capacitor along with that we are uh, uh, considering one switch and one capacitor that is gate capacitance cg okay and here we have the cb okay where the th these are the voltages here uh, so th this is not C cg this is cs okay so this is the voltage vb and this is the voltage vs and we are having in series one switch with the cs okay so the initial condition is before the switch is closed when the switch is open the charge qb is equal to cb into vb since we know that q is equal to c into v so that's why qb would be equal to cb into vb and qs would be equal to cs into vs okay so qt would be the sum of the two charges that is qb plus qs that is the total capacitance total charging uh, so that would be equal to cbvv plus csvs where in this case the total capacitance would be equal to ct that would be equal to cb plus cs okay so the final voltage after sharing once the switch closes the charge would be getting redistributed and both the capacitors settle at a common voltage okay once the switch is closed we know that when the switch is closed here the charges would be getting redistributed that is uh, the uh, the switch would be when the switch is open the charger the charges would be flowing outside so that's why there would be no charge flowing through this capacitor okay so that's why when the switch is closed again the charges would be getting rescheduled so that's why we would, it would be coming to one common voltage that we that voltage is called as vr so that is equal to qt by ct so we know that what is qt qt is cb vb plus cs vs and ct is cb plus cs okay assuming vb is equal to vdd and vs is uh, slightly equal to zero the resulting uh, voltage becomes vr is equal to so vb is equal to vdd so vdd into so wh wherever vs is there that would be equal to zero so that term also would be vanished so now here cs into vs goes we are left with a cb into vdd divided by cb plus cs okay so that is the answer here vr is equal to vdd into cb divided by cb plus cs okay when vs is equal to 0 this is one special case so this shows that vr is reduced compared to vdd and the amount of drop depends on the ratio of cs by cb okay so this is one table here to understand this charge sharing in detail they have given one real time example to uh, make uh, to make this uh, understand in a very clear manner so see this one understanding charge sharing a simple analogy so in digital circuit sometimes we store voltage like information on a bus line which acts like a big capacitor cb okay another circuit part may want to sample that information using a smaller capacitor cs through a switch which is shown in the figure this process is called as charge sharing okay so this is the definition 
So think of it like this. Think CB is a big water tank with water level VB. Okay, just imagine. Then CS is a small water tank with water level uh, VS. A switch is like a valve that connects the two tanks. Okay, a switch would be like a valve that would be connecting the two tanks. What happened when the wall? What happens when the valve is open? Okay, so just imagine when the valve is open, the switch would be closed. Okay, so when the switch is closed, what would be happening? The water, or the or in case in this case it is charge, flows between the tanks until both have the same level. Okay, so it's correct, right? When the valve is open, the water flow would be of the equal size. Okay, it would be flowing between the tanks until both have the same level, right? Till that the water would be getting, uh, oh, the water is uh, getting flown. The valve is open in the both the tanks until it uh, reaches the same level. The water would be getting filled, right? So in the same way, the charge also flows between the bus uh, analogies between the two capacitors. So that's why uh, the voltages uh, would be getting added up. That is VR as told you here. The VR would be equal to QT by CT. That is CB VB plus CS VS divided by CB plus CS. Okay special case and so on okay so we have one uh, problem here that is if cs is too large vr becomes much smaller than vdd that is if cs is uh, a very very large that is a uh, uh, it is not of the standard value it is just more than that of it leading to unreliable logic levels okay so that's why in order to avoid this problem the cs value should be should not be too large okay yeah so this was about charge sharing so now let's get to one more concept that is the last concept which is left in this uh, concept uh, in this video that is yield okay yield part so what is this yield yield is a critical factor in the manufacturing of vlsi circuits although yield is not directly a performance parameter it significantly affects the economic feasibility of fabrication and is influenced by several factors so the factors of the yield are technology used in fabrication, chip area, layout strategy. So the definition of yield, yield is defined by yield percentage is equal to number of good chips on wafer divided by total number of chips into 100%. Okay, So this is the basic definition of a yield. That is number of good chips on a wafer divided by total number of chips into 100. In that way, the yield, uh, yield is justly just uh, picking the uh, required chips which is required for the performance okay so that's why this yield is uh, defined in the say, in the way yield depends primarily on uh, depends primarily on the chip area and the defect density d that is the number of lethal effects per centimeter square two widely accepted yield models so here we have two widely accepted models which describe how yield relates to these parameters okay so those two models are very very important so one is seed yield model seeds yield model so this model is primarily when the chip area is large and the yield is expected to be less than 30 percent so here the yield is expressed as the yield is given mass in this uh, seeds yield model the yield is given as y is equal to e to the power minus square root of ad okay where a is the chip area which is given in centimeter square and d is the defect density that is lethal defects per cm square here point to be noted is as chip area increases or defect density rises the exponent becomes more negative causing yield to drop exponentially okay so this was one model so second one important model is murphy's yield model okay so in this model uh, this is preferred when chip area is very small so the seed seeds yield model is preferred when chip area chip area is very large so here murphy's model is uh, uh, preferred when chip area is relatively small okay so yield is expected to be greater than 30 percent here and the Murphy's model, the yield is given by uh, y is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus ad divided by ad the whole square. Okay. So this formulation softens the drastic yield drop for small areas, making it more accurate for high yield conditions. Okay. So these were the things uh, which are required to be discussed in yield. Okay. So yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Uh, and uh, that's all for this module as well. So these are some of the observations and all so this notes i'm going to give it in the description okay just go and access it okay both the chapters chapter one and two we have discussed from module three so the notes uh, would be provided in the description go and access it and study it and because uh, these notes are uh, a standard notes uh, which i which is borrowed from one college i don't know the name 
but this is not my notes chapter 2 notes is not mine the chapter 1 which we have created is our notes itself that is from video academy so this is not our notes okay so this notes is very very uh, easy to understand and uh, everything is given in detail so with respect to your syllabus only this notes is provided so that's why i thought to make videos with this notes only so that's all for the video guys and uh, we are going to start with module 4 from the next video so stay tuned for that and uh, please watch each and every videos okay we have covered around uh, 20 to 25 videos i guess i don't know till now so please go and watch all of them and because the subject is very important uh, the sixth sem the most important subject is vlsi design and testing so i am doing the videos with respect to the syllabus point of view i am not trying to cover each and everything of vlsi because it is a very vast subject and uh, there are many things to be discussed okay so that's why i am doing only with the video syllabus point of view which would be use, useful for you all okay so please like share subscribe to our channel comment down your opinions about how you understood these kind of concepts very well or not any improvements is required any suggestions please comment down comment section is all yours okay that's all guys thank you